Kelowna is at the center of the Okanagan, factoring in the municipalities outside. We're about 200,000 people. People come here for, for the sun, for the heat, for the golf, for the wine, and we see our population pretty much double every summer. So as we're densifying, that puts a lot of stress on our urban infrastructure. We brought our transportation team in, and one of the things we heard from them is those close calls. When are people almost getting hit by cars? Wouldn't it be great to know about a troublesome intersection in advance? Wouldn't it be great to know some of the trends now that they're sharing the road more than ever? The city was actually really interested in improving safety uh, in their downtown core, as well as looking at ways to reduce congestion. And we identified a solution that used LiDAR-based monitoring to help cities with different use cases around safety and traffic. UBC was the first 5G partnership we signed in Canada. We're leveraging some of the smartest minds to come up with 5G innovative solutions at the city of Kelowna focused on public safety. The ultimate goal of intelligent transportation systems is to improve road safety, to reduce traffic congestion, and to enhance commercial vehicle operations and efficiencies. So the Rogers 5G network is the technology that will make it practical to do so. LiDAR introduces some important new capabilities. They're an all-weather sensor. They carry their own illumination, so they work well in daytime, nighttime, or even adverse weather conditions. There's a really tight linkage between things like autonomous vehicles, which we know are still a couple of years away, and the transportation infrastructure within a city. And so what we decided was to run a hackathon. And so we engaged with the university, given that we have a strong partnership there, and there was research that was happening in that smart transportation space. We had advanced capabilities around traffic monitoring and traffic safety. We focused our work on collision detection, and so we built an algorithm with the students to use the data from the LiDAR to identify when objects were colliding and built an application that could do emergency dispatch. That type of intelligence obviously can save lives. First responders could prepare for what's waiting for them. What vehicles were involved? What speeds were they traveling at? This project gave us insights into uh, information that we've never had available to us before and uh, data on how to create a, a better, safer city for our residents. What we're trying to do is get cities comfortable with the technologies available today so that they're in a position to take advantage of those technologies that are on the horizon. I didn't really know what LiDAR was before this and now we're sitting afterwards talking about this project and realizing, hey, these sensors might be able to do more than just tell us about cars crossing through an intersection. Uh, these sensors can probably tell us all types of things about our community that we didn't know before. And this is just the beginning. When we start thinking about how the Internet of Things can change the city, uh, we get really excited about the potential there. <laughs>